Hi everyone and welcome back to Alan Wake Remastered. Uh, if you guys remember the last episode, we went through fucking hell and now we're at a petrol station. Watching whatever the fuck this is. What is this? Wasn't it like two weeks in the beginning of the game? Now it says seven days. Huh. I might be wrong. Oh my god, petrol is fucking cheap. Take the vodka. Anyway, you guys, do any of you guys ever get that fucking craving for like sweets? I, I don't know why. I had to get inside Ooh. the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Okay, don't be fucking pushy. Anyway, I just had a fucking like need for something sweet, so I fucking destroyed my flat looking for fucking. I think it was like Arrowheads candy and some like. Skittles and I just inhale those. <laughs> I don't know you guys did know that, but anyway. Ooh. Alright, we'll go inside. Shit. Whoa. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. Oh my god, are those candies? <laughs> oh Alright. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. What the Just fuck? now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Oh my god. Give me three bags of these gummy yummies. Mm. What the fuck is a Nordic walking? Mm, the 68th annual Deer Fest, September 15th through the 18th. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, surprise. Okay, and live music for children. Buck tooth, Charlie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't miss a legendary diff. Mm, no, thank you. And right, ooh. There's a man in the register. <laughs> Great ball, Sheriff Station. Well, that was quick. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. <gasps> Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Shouldn't you take me to the Have hospital? You seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Well, I mean, we're not a trustworthy narrator if the fucking Lyland does not exist. She's about to call the fucking asylum and tell them that they got a new fucking resident. <laughs> Fuck me with a rake. That was the opening. I'm not trying to talk over this because I'm going to fucking strike. For the music in the last game. <laughs> Stop singing, fuck face. Shut it. it. Previously okay, on Alan Wake. <laughs> I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? Honestly, that was... Probably I woke up behind the wheel missing. of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Oh 
shit. Okay, they do this episodic style. Honestly, that's about as much grocery as you get for about £200 these days. Shit. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How okay. was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Okay, first off, you know what we're going to do. Room Raiders. <laughs> Let's go through the fucking rooms. What have you guys got back here? What are we looking at? Honestly, now that I'm buying like a lot of more books, I feel like I'm a fucking booktuber. <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't ask me. All my fucking books were covered in smut. Guys, just fucking oiled up torsos. But you know, there are some like YA ones I bought, so they're not full plow towns, you know? Excuse me. What is that code? Can I scan it with my phone? Hold on, you guys. Let me see if this works. Get the fuck out! It brought me up to a fucking video. It brought me to a video on YouTube. Is no one else scared by that? <laughs> Return to sender. What? I can't forget Alex Casey. The things that I the things that I want. The fall of what the fuck is this? These books sound boring. And it, you know it takes a straight man to own two gold guns and think it's great. Oh, it's an award. <laughs> Got a manuscript. Okay. Why would you have a three pictures of a fucking city skyline when you have that outside your window? Ooh. That's it. This needs to turn the fuck off. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snow. That was what it sounded like off. Storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay yeah, the, the, the bedroom's the a little small. And city officials are not is that a fucking cauldron? Witches! <laughs> oh, look. Oh, don't shut the fucking door. Not me being stuck in the closet again. <laughs> Okay. For a game that was made what? 15 years? 12? 8 years? I don't know. 2008? Like, this is a really nice bathroom. The laundry is, is the dryer in the kitchen? What, what are we looking at? I'm just going to. Hey, hmm. handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Ew, is that a real person? I can't. Ooh. Honestly, this room does look very, like, relaxing. <laughs> All right. Look out over here. What size is this telly? What the fuck is a CC? Just break and last. Oh my god! I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. <laughs> if you guys know where that's from. Okay. <gasps> You're telling me this is what New York looks like in the winter? That's fucking terrifying. Okay, let's get this coffee going. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. So she works for me. It's a nice kitchen. Ah, oh, the coffee's not going. Is it going? No. <laughs> I don't know if I like the house. Who am I fucking joking? I live in a smaller flat than this. This is beautiful. Keys. Do you want to put the groceries away? What you got? Looks like some shit. A fucking brown egg. 
Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. I mean... These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Huh? Alan, speaking of Barry... You're gonna die oh. soon. <gasps> Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box! I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Right? Please, hurry! Where the fuck is a fuse box? Through here? It's not in the bathroom, is it? I really don't like this, Alan! How about you cease this bitch crying? Please oh hurry! God. Oh, right by the front door. <laughs> Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. What the fuck? She's so weird. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. I once knew this dumb girl who was scared I used of the to light. Have these I'm in the dark. When I was a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. What the fuck did you call me? Thanks for this. Why do other people got light? If there's a power outage. <laughs> Present day bright falls. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me Why to the hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I oh, know. Let's get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc uh, Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. It was in Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. But why is there a fucking dead fish on the examining table? I know it's not an examining table, but still. You couldn't have wrapped it the fuck up? I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, Go which is what you're after <laughs> if you prefer a lure. No, All thank you. You want either trout Keep or talking. on the other hand. Then it's fly fishing for you. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. Oh god, this the fucking creeper stage. Soon you can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on. To yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Mm -hmm. Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Okay. Stuff. James out. I'm looking for... Lake? Yes? The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor? Well, fucking thank you. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. 
It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. Mm -hmm. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. No, it's an unknown number. You take it Hello? in public. Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife Who is Ah, uh, I think the fuck not, you trick-ass bitch! What is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. Mr. Wade, can I help we're you with anything? You. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Oh, no. Mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey. What? You're all right. You want to make out? good guy. Don't let I've always had an eye for the fellow. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. Oh, God. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. First, let me get the vodka. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, You're the fucking more. shit starter that told everyone I was here. Fuck your sleep. <laughs> had a few broken windows. Bitch. <laughs> right. How do I get there? Mm. I see it, thank you. But how do I get there? Can I climb the fucking fence? The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I thought she'd be here. watching from the window. <laughs> Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Mm, I don't think that's going to work. We... Oh, look. Last time. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, what shapes the it from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey. What the into fuck the is dark. going on? Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their research. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? Mm -hmm. No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. Yes, Carrie, let us I'm know. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. It's right as block, you bastard. I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. 
Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. How did he get his If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. I like money! <laughs> and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Why Later. are you here? And you're a gross bastard. <laughs> What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even Holy a shit, fan is this a woolly mammoth? Can I have one? <laughs> and she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm Should missing be. a week. Could be. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Bitch. Hunga, hunga. We're already there. Hmm, <laughs> vodka. <laughs> this kitchen has not been used in forever. It's a fucking big bag of crisps. This is quite beautiful, though. <laughs> I love this look. The nice colours in there. there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? No, okay. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Oh, Those God. situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Yeah. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Bitch, well, look at your outfit, Barry. Real funny, Al. You can That's a fucking now. laugh. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. That's it. Glad to have you staying here. No Thanks. ideas. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. That's oh. it. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. What is a radio mast? That thing? I'm great. <laughs> Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, 
A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. Oh, God. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al. Jesus Christ. You're my agent, not my fucking therapist. <laughs> That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. What fucking cavalry? Rose? <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Oh my god. Bless you. That's called xenophobia, oh, right? Trying to kill me. I, bet there's mold in here, I don't know, spores, don't ask me. Poison ivy. God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. That's a lot of fucking money. You wanna know where you can shove that flashlight? Try me, bitch. Say it. Ooh, I wish you would. Lock the door when I leave. Yeah, yep, yeah, you go ahead and do what you have to do. I'll be fine. Ooh. Alone, but fine. In a cabin straight from a horror movie. I know, isn't it lovely? <laughs> anyway, you guys, I think we're going to end the episode here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Alan Wake Remastered. Uh, I do believe we have, what, a week before it, the part two comes out? So hopefully we'll knock this out and then we'll get to that one because this looks a little dated. Nice, but still dated. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!